Welcome to your Web Mom's Recovery Moment. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about gratitude. What is gratitude anyway? Being thankful for what you have, I suppose. But have you ever thought, what is the opposite of gratitude? I suppose um, ingratitude, lack of appreciation, disapproval. Or how about grumbling? Of all the choices we make in life, few affect our mental and physical well-beings more powerfully than the choice between gratitude and grumbling. I wonder which choice you have made. If it's grumbling, you probably see very few blessings come into your life. If it's gratitude, on the other hand, you likely not only find countless blessings, they seem to find you. So how might your life your mindset and your relationships with God and other people be changed by developing an attitude of gratitude. Let's start with the Life Instruction Book, also known as the Holy Book. My Holy Book, the Bible, says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That's in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the New International Version. And here's something to think about. A national news program studied 50 people over 100 years old who still lead active, happy lives. The researchers specifically looked for similarities in diet, exercise, lifestyle, and habits that could contribute to their longevity and quality of life. What they found was really amazing. Now, some of the participants in this study had what you would consider to be very good diets. An equal number of people weren't quite so healthy in their food choices. Some of the participants exercised and some did not. However, two things were consistently found in more than 90% of them. Here it is. 9 out of 10 said that throughout their entire lives, they awoke every morning with an attitude of gratitude for one more day of life, and that they saw each day as a precious gift. Secondly, nine out of 10 stated that they felt life was too short to hold grudges or spend time complaining, and they forgave people quickly and refused to dwell on negative thoughts. So what's your choice today? Gratitude or grumbling? I hope for your sake and the sake of those around you that you choose gratitude. For some help tuning up your attitude of gratitude and more gratitude resources, check out Your Web Mom's Gratitude Gallery at yourwebmom.com. You can even sign up to receive a reminder email to help you remember to be grateful. Take three gratitudes daily, no repeats. That means once you've been grateful for your job, you can't ever use job again. You have to come up with something new every single day. Now, thanks for stopping by to visit with your web mom. Come back again soon and stand up straight. You hear?